Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christian Ingram, and I'll be your guide to go over Hasbro's Fan First Friday, or as I like to call it, Fan Failure Friday. I'll get into all the reasons I think it was really bad here in a moment, but do me a favor, go hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. I'll tell you about a little giveaways I'm doing. Once I hit 2,000 subs, giving away a Ryu Soldier Changer, 2,500 subs, giving an Omega Ranger with Uniforce Cycle, Lightning Collection figure away. And then what about 3,000? Well, giving away a Psycho Ranger team set. So do go hit that subscribe button. Now hit my intro and let's get into the video. <laughs> So on August 14th, around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we got our first glimpse into the Hasbro's Fan First Friday. I believe this is the second one they've done. And we were introduced to John, who is the brand manager of Power Ranger, as well as Corey, who is the 3D sculptor for Power Rangers action figures. Now, before we get into the whole them announcing things, I just was thrown off by these two. They felt like they really didn't want to be there. Um, it. It just felt like you could have gotten somebody better to make announcements for Power Rangers. If you want pure passion, you should have gone with George Jr. You want news, you go with Liz. You you could have gone with any of these other creators, and you went with these two guys who really felt like they didn't care about the franchise. Now, that's just my personal opinion, but one thing that really bothered me about this whole Fan First Friday is that th this one really bothered me in the back. He had all these Power Rangers display, and he had the black Dino Charge Ranger back there, but they haven't said anything about him. They haven't been like, oh, go check him out in Target, Target exclusive, or the Walgreens exclusive white Dino Thunder figure. That's one of the things that really bothered me about this whole Fan First Friday, because all they did was announce the next wave, which, if you watch one of my videos from four months ago, it was leaked, and they didn't acknowledge the leaks. That bothered me as well. But side note, did anybody notice how many rings Corey had on? It was like one on every finger. I don't know. That just sent bad vibes to me. And then Corey and John's chemistry, it just wasn't there. Like I said, you could have you could have gotten a lot better creators to do this than these two guys. I get they work on the brand, but if you want to hype fans up, you get somebody who has influence on the fans. I mean, you could have gone with MMPR Toys. I don't care at this point. You could have gotten somebody who actually felt like they cared. I digress. Let me get into the reveals. First, they revealed Ashley, the in-space Yellow Ranger. We, we've known about these reveals, or most of them, for a couple months now. And this one looks good, except for the bowed legs and the face sculpts. And I'm going to get on the face sculpts here in a, moment, in a minute. The face sculpts were awful. God, so I, I don't want to get political, but somebody put the picture of the face sculpt next to a picture of um, Hillary Clinton. And I was like, you know, it really does look like her a little bit. I don't, I don't get political though. No, no politics in comments. I mean it. As much as I like the figure, the bowed legs really irritated me and the sculpt, the head sculpt, like I said, Hasbro, what are you doing? You have some really good head sculpts with Tommy or Wes or Leo or Trey or Jack, but you really messed up with a couple of Billy from MMPR. Terrible. That's one of the worst. Jason, I mean, he looks goofy, but at least it looks decent. Trini's was pretty bad. It, it just feels like you could do a lot better than what you're doing with the head sculpts. But let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think of the head sculpts for the Lightning Collection? The next reveal is the Red Zeo Ranger. And the only thing that bothered me about this, and it's not even this figure itself. This is the best figure in my opinion. Head sculpt look good. The, the thing that bothered me is he came with his sword. And it wouldn't have bothered me if the fact that the blue Zeo Ranger had came with his weapons. It doesn't make any sense. If you're not going to give all of them their weapons, don't give any of them their weapons. Because then when people are trying to display them, they're going to get irritated. Uh, next reveal was the Mighty Morphin Black Ranger without the Dragon Shield. So we got one to complete the core set. Um, I have mine displayed right there, and it does look a little weird with uh, him being the only one with the Dragon Shield. Overall, this one looks fantastic. It does. Except for one thing. The head sculpt looks awful. Hasbro. Titan. Up. And then the next reveal, I don't want to touch too much into this because this one really pissed me off, was Goldar without his wings. That's the laziest thing I've ever heard. So you release Goldar without his wings, it's some more paint or whatever. I get it. It was a GameStop exclusive here in the U.S. I'm sure it, it was hard to get a hold of out of the U.S., 
But what you could have done is just re-release it to different retailers across the globe and not had to do this because what they're doing is they're banking on the success of MPR. And this, this gold R here in the States is going to be a peg warmer. I'm telling you, I'm not getting it. I don't know many people that are. It, it was lazy. This, this wave was leaked four months ago. Three of the four figures were leaked four months ago and not even acknowledgement of the leak. They, they just scrolled through this. They're like, all right, here you go. Okay. We're not going to acknowledge anything. And then they go into the fan questions. The first question was, will you open up for fan polls so we can have a fan vote figure? Their answer, we don't, we don't know. John went to some long speech, uh, how he loves hearing from the fans and to keep telling him what your favorite season is. And it might happen in the future. If that ain't the most po politically correct answer I've ever heard, it's like it might happen, it might not. We don't know. We, we work on the franchise, but we don't know. You know... If you really want fan interaction, and this is such a passionate fan base, why why would you not open up a fan vote? I, I feel a lot of figures, like you would be able to tell which figures the fans would want. I'm not saying any of the ones we've gotten so far are bad. I'm just saying there's more you could get to and in quicker time if you open up a fan vote. I mean, look at uh, Morphin Madness from like five, ten years ago, and it had a team of Rangers, and Phantom Ranger was on there. Jen, she was on there. Those are two the fans really want. Hell, I'd love a good ninja figure at this point. So I think a fan poll would be fantastic. So Hasbro, if you're watching, hit me up. I got ideas. Next question is, MMPR is a great season, but we have a ton of products for it. Are you go? Are you guys going to move on from MMPR ever? And, and, the, and, and the, the straight answer was no. We like money. MMPR sells to everyone. Um, they said the main focus will be MMPR and they will eventually get to everything else. But MMPR is going to be their main thing. I guess I can't blame them, but there's a lot of great seasons that aren't getting love in space. We're just getting our first figure. Yeah, I mean, unless you count the Psycho Rangers, which I mean, I do. But as far as the team, that's our first one. Uh, a good astronomer figure, Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed. What about the Titanium Ranger, the first American Ranger? Um, Jungle Fury or RPM, some of people's favorite seasons, even Operation Overdrive, you know? Do a once a Ranger team set. Or they they could have they could have had a better answer for that one, but they just said no MMPR sells, and that's the end of that. That's what we're gonna focus on. And then the next question is how do you choose Power Ranger seasons for the Lightning Collector? Um, they said they want to tell stories and link characters together instead of just picking random ones, which is at this point it kind of feels like what they do, except for MMPR. That's what they're going for. They want to make unique moments from the franchise. If that's the case, give me the Lost Galaxy and Space team up, Forever Red, or Once a Ranger. That's that those are the legendary moments I like. I don't care about the legendary battle. That sucks. I'd love I'd love an Forever Red display or a Lost Galaxy uh in space team up display. You can you can even display them with the Psycho Rangers. Next question goes: Can we get more team packs? They said no f you. They want to drag it out and are scared people won't buy them because of the high price points. Look. There's some seasons you're going to have to sell in a team pack. I want an Alien Ranger team pack. What about a Turbo team pack? I don't know. Just seasons that weren't that great, but people are going to buy them anyways. I mean, Psycho Rangers, of course people are going to buy them. Um, not that I'm saying Alien Rangers were bad. It was a short season. I'm just saying a lot of people would be like, what's that because of how long ago it was and how obscure the season was but let me know what you would like to see as a team pack down in the comment section below next question how do you plan to address deco and paint quality control in the future essentially they said we're doing what we can they're trying to make sure everything looks good but if you don't like it don't buy it i mean what about the white dino thunder ranger seriously there was no black around his visor which there should have been seriously doesn't make any sense and then there was missing paint from the Omega Ranger. I, I like the Lightning Collection. This isn't me talking bad about them. It's just you need to improve some stuff. Bandai did pretty good with the Legacy figures. I mean, there was obviously some flaws in them, the Gold Ranger specifically. But the paint, for the most part, was pretty good. I mean, not that the Lightning Collection hasn't been, but it feels like they're going downhill and they need to pick it up. And then my favorite question. When is Beast Morphers coming back to the U.S. and can you tell us anything about Dino Fury? It, the answer is it's coming in September, even though it was released internationally months ago, and they can't say anything about Dino Fury. I mean, everybody's already seen the team up. Everybody's seen the episodes. Nobody's going to watch them on Nick, not really. 
when you can find them online. And I don't see people, you know, watch waking up at eight o'clock in the morning to go watch Power Rangers when they've seen it. That's why the ratings are really bad right now. I mean, hell, Samurai did better in ratings from what I remember. It's not because the season is bad. It's because the international airing. So in my opinion, nothing new was really announced. Um, I wasn't really surprised by anything, which I was hoping, hey, they would say something about the ZO6, I mean, ZO 12 inch Megazord that's being released. But they didn't, like they didn't say anything about the white Dino Thunder Ranger or black Dino Charge. And then there was that picture of the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger without the the silver stripe. Where does that coming into play? Somebody leaked that the day before the event along with uh, pictures of the wave. So I'm, I'm not understanding. The questions were really weak and their responses were politically correct at best. And if they were going to do a villain, an MMPR villain, cool, do one. Do Rita Revolto. Or Master Vile. I don't want another Goldar. I'm not going to buy another Goldar. I'm sorry. I'm good with the one I have with wings. And I get some people are going to buy them. And I'm not talking bad about those people. Buy what you like. But I can't justify buying another one. Like I said, the reason I think this was a failure is because we didn't get anything new. We didn't get any new information. Everything that they announced had already been leaked months ago. And the laziness of it, the questions, the people running it, was so evident, it wasn't even funny. I'm sorry, if you're gonna do a fan first Friday, why not have fans in there helping announce this stuff? Why not hire one of the creators? And I don't mean myself. Like I said, George George would be a great person to bring onto the franchise just to do stuff like that. Or Liz, if you want news, you, you get Liz, like I said. And any of these other amazing creators, but John and Corey just felt lazy. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of Power Rangers Fan First Friday? And what were you expecting from it? And were you disappointed? Remember to hit that like button and subscribe button and notification bell. And I'm still doing those giveaways, which once I hit 2,000, you know, Ryu Soldier Morpher, Changer, 2,500 Omega Ranger with Cycle, and 3,000 the Power Rangers Psycho Ranger team set. So make sure to hit all those buttons. And until we meet again, may the power protect you.